Hello and welcome to Battle with the Best of Them with Dr. Gagman here. Um, guess what I want to talk about first is the update. Go to your settings. It is version 0.153.0-G. At least that's the version I've got. And um, with that they've added a new search function. Uh, where you can search for all your Pokemon that have three moves. Now, there was a way before to search for the third move when you went um, third, I think, uh, water, I think you could do that. I, yeah, here it is. So this one has a third move, and then you can type in, and that's why I have a big plus on it, and its third move is Hydro Pump, which is a water move. But now, what you can do is, you can do M, but you'll put an exclamation point beforehand. Now, I th we thought before that it was uh, move, but it's actually, you can just put M and it'll do it. But it's weird because if it has three moves, you think, oh, plural, I just type out moves. But when you do that, it ruins the search. However, all you need is the M. You don't need um, move or moves or anything like that. So these are all my Pokemon, which I'd already uh, marked. I don't have very many of them that have three moves. Um, this one's up for trade. But these are all the ones that I have that have three moves. <coughs> so there we go. Uh, so that is the uh, search that they added. Um, also, there's new Adventure Seek notices, uh, Sync notices. Uh, you should check those out. Um, once I go through the pictures, we'll, uh, because I took a picture of them as they came in just to read them. Sometimes they have these notice notices come up and you're like, what did it say? Uh, so I took a picture of it and we'll go over that later when we go through the pictures um, from this last week. Um, and then also in the Pokédex, Unova, 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 however you say it, Gen 5 has been added it's right there. So when you got a Sino, it doesn't show it underneath, it shows the unknown, which they said at first that this was going to be Gen 8 Meltan and Melmetal, but now it just says unknown. Um, and then Unova is not there yet because I don't have any ones caught from uh, Unova. But here's something else um, not related to the uh, update because that's basically all I had to say about the update for now. Um, let's say there are a lot of Pokemon that like they have their, well I guess not a lot, but there's a few Pokemon that have shiny forms in their Aloha form in Gen 1. Those are the only ones that are Aloha right now. Get in here. And I'll show you. I think the coolest one is this one. Once I get to it. Where is it? There it is. Volpex. <clears throat> so you go there. And um, here's the Alola form. And I have a shiny Alola Volpex. Just one. So I haven't evolved it up to uh, Nine Tails to see what that looks like. But it shows you, these are not in there yet, but here is shiny, regular shiny Vulpex. You can also do this with um, ones that you don't have yourself. They'll show you what the shiny looks like. Uh, like, I don't have a shiny Alola Raichu, but I have a shiny regular Raichu. So when I go to look that up, then um, it'll show me like, I have that one, but I don't have this one. But it shows me what it looks like anyway, because, you know. And uh, another Pokemon that has a shiny form in Alola, but not a shiny form in, um, uh, in regular form is Exeggutor, which there's the Alola shiny version, and there's the regular shiny version, which isn't out yet, but you can still see it from the Pokédex, which is cool. I hope that they add shiny, uh, or not just shiny, but um, 
and Lucky and all this other stuff. I hope they add the, the uh, costumes in here. And I hope that they also add the, um, uh, what's the other thing? Blah, blah, blah. Um, like purified and, uh, shadow forms in there, too. Uh, I think that'd be cool if they put that in the Pokédex, but so far they haven't. Um, the current events that are going on right now, still Shiny Rayquaza, uh, that goes away on the 2nd of, uh, September. Um, and I still don't have a Shiny one, but, uh, my friend, she's saving back a Shiny one for me if I don't catch one before they go away again. Um, and then also current events is, um, the Jirachi Research, which this is how far I am right now. I haven't taken any of the snapshots, and uh, today, Friday, will be my third day once I spin a stop tomorrow, once I go out. It's after midnight now. But the other one was three uh, um, curveball uh, excellent throws, which, you know, a little rough, but I got it. And um, then we get to the seventh page. Right now I'm on the sixth page once you get seven days in a row. We still don't know what that is yet because seven days haven't passed since um, Jirachi research has come, the A Thousand Year Slumber. So, but I imagine that it'll be something similar to what it was at GoFest, which is taking picture, uh, taking a picture of uh, the music Pokemon that they've been giving you, like Krikata and, uh, and uh, when they give you... Um, uh, I forgot what some of the other ones are, but Snorlax is one of them, which is weird, but... I guess snoring counts as music. Um, I want to congratulate my friend Shiro Okami. She got a shiny uh, seal. I already had one. Uh, didn't get another one during this water event. The uh, water event's still going on. That's another current event. Um, and... Uh, Here's the shinies that I've gotten recently. This one I hatched, the Beldum, and it was not a battle with the best of them, just like all my other Beldums that I caught during Community Day. So this is an after Community Day one. The very first Carvanol that I that I clicked on, I was down in Riverscape right when um, the event started. I was having some kind of lag and login issues and stuff like that, and I'll show you what's going on with the uh, in when I show the pictures. Uh, I almost didn't get this, I, I, you know, but it was the first one that I clicked on. Clicked on several since, still haven't gotten another one. And I didn't get Poliwag when they had the, um, Yokohama, uh, event, because there wasn't very many Poliwags around, but I got one now, and he's cute. But, um, last week I talked about how I got another Lyleep and my third, um, Shinx, but I didn't evolve them, so... I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Let me show you so that I can make the whole family. Um, this one's going to go up because the other one, that one's my worst one. Because I already have Luxio, but I'm going to turn this one into the next Luxio. This is a uh, trick for, like, if you want to change the name back to what it originally was, if you gave it a goofy name and you can't remember how it's spelled, you just delete the whole name, and then when you go back out, it'll um, take it back to its original name. That's important for when you evolve them, because it'll keep the name that you gave it. So, like, if I would have kept that, um, that shiny Shinx name that I gave it, then when I evolved it, it would still have that it would still say Shinx, even though it's a Luxio now. Well, I'm going to put that shiny symbol now. Let's see here. Boom. That signifies the shiny that I'm keeping. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go to this one because it, its stats are better. Even though the other one was weather boosted, um, this one, its stats were better. And again, I'm going to have to delete the name, otherwise it's going to mess it up. And here it is.
uh, for the Jirachi event, uh, I've been bringing my switch into game swap so that you guys can get your uh, steel type catches. There he is. Oh man, he's awesome. He's got red eyes. That's so badass. Nice. Now I have the whole family. And I really have to thank C. Buckingham for giving me my third Shanks. The other two I raided for and got. Hers was uh, hatched. But she didn't need another one, so she gave it to me. So, but I'm going to mark this as my shiny keeper. And also with the heart because it has two stats that are perfect. It's uh, like two or I think two clicks away from perfect. Ugh. Oh well, I have so many of them there like that that are shiny. But I have the whole family of um, shiny shanks now. Very happy about that. Boom! But the other shiny was Lily. And so let's go to that one. <clears throat> so I can make Cradley. Because uh, I have two of those. Um, now, I forgot which one of these was the better one. That one's kind of off balance, and this one's more balanced and has higher HP. So this one was traded to me by my friend uh, Wolf Wolf Cub. So this will probably be the one that I do. Yeah. So I'll finally have a shiny cradle. So these are new, two new entries for me, which I'm excited about. <clears throat> So, but other ways to get um, steel types, uh, and also, man, that's so cool looking. Also, um, psychic types is um, looking for uh, field research, uh, raids, nests, uh, with those types in them. Uh, and since the water festival was going on, uh, you could find... Um, <clears throat> You could find um, slow pokes around, and those count as you know water and psychic. So those will count for towards your. Uh, I forgot what page it is. I think it's like page two or three. You have to catch 50 um, psychic or steel types. But I've been helping people with um, uh, that by bringing my switch in. But I'll stop doing that. I think in about a week. Um, because by this point, I think everybody's already moved on to the next pages, uh, I would hope. But don't forget that also Natu is psychic. Uh, Skarmory is out there. There's a, a Skarmory nest nearby. I forgot to look up where it was. Um, Execute is uh, psychic, and those are common ones. So you should be able to find those. Um, there is, I think, a glitch. <clears throat> or it's um, something else in... Um, Page 5 of the uh, Jirachi research, it says that you have to battle or win against a trainer uh, seven times. Well, I did seven battles, more than seven battles, because I was helping other people get do their battles too. And um, most of them I lost, and I still that still counted as a win. So either that's a glitch, or it's possibly you just beat one of their Pokemon, and that counts as a win. Um, so, yeah. Um, I have been working on my blog. This is, of course, going to take forever, and it's probably going to reload uh, Pokemon Go. But under the Nintendo Agenda thing in my blog, which everything is still under construction, but <clears throat> there's uh, I've updated the uh, organizing tips with the new search um, um, thing that uh, search terms that they added. Um, and I'm going to be doing another community day uh, preparation thing for Treco when that comes up. And um, I also am updating my shiny checklist, which I need to update it a little bit more since I have two new entries now, since I evolved those two. <clears throat> uh, the upcoming events that are going on, since I've covered the uh, events that we're currently on, 
um, Montreal, again with the shiny Yanma. Um, I think that's going to be after the Ultra Bonus Weeks. Um, but the first week is September 2nd. And it's going to have two times incubator effectiveness. And that's going to last all three weeks of the um, Ultra Bonus. So <clears throat> your incubator is going to cut everything in half. So that's going to be awesome. Um, the uh, Legendary Beasts with their shiny possibilities are now returning to T5 raids in the first week. And Unknown, and I think this is going to be something that's going to stay in there, Unknown, um, spelling out Ultra, which is, you know, A-L-R-T-U, uh, or U-L-T-R-A, <laughs> uh, in 10 kilometer eggs, plus Shiny Sentrant and uh, Gliger will be coming out. So these uh, Ultra Weeks are going to be so awesome. Um, the wording on it is weird for those unknowns in eggs. Are they going to be during the whole duration of these three weeks? Is it going to be from now on? Or is it only going to be the first week? It would kind of think if it's only the first week, but we'll see what they do. It could be like when they did the regionals last year and when they do regionals in this in the second week, which starts September 9th. The Kanto regionals are going to be in 7K eggs like they were last year. But this time, they're going to be shiny possible, so that's awesome. <clears throat> and I think that's going to go from week two and all the way up to week three. So maybe this... The uh, Ultra Unknowns, or the Unknowns that spell out Ultra, will be first week one, two, and three. Or maybe they'll just be permanently in there. Who knows? But the uh, Kanto Regionals, I know for sure, are only week two and week three. And uh, week three starts September 16th. But um, before we get into that, in week two, Deoxys um, is no longer going to be an EX raid. So something is going to take its place. I think Arceus, but we'll talk about that later or in another video when they finally announce it. <laughs> um, but then all forms of Deoxys are going to be in um, regular raids, T5 raids. And uh, then when week three comes in, Mewtwo, with its with its signature Psy Strike uh, move, will be in uh, T5 raids. And they'll finally be shiny possible. Uh, and then also Unova, or Unova Pokemon Gen 5 are coming in. And they're going to start off with some shinies, just like they did with um, when Shinx started in Gen 4. Um, he was shiny in raids right away. Um, and then when they put him in eggs, he was shiny possible there too. So, um, Clink is going to be the shiny one that's possible in raids. But they're also going to have uh, Patrat. And Lillipup are going to be shiny in the wild for Unova region ones, which is good because those are those are probably going to be the common ones, and that's probably what they'll release first is the common ones and the starters, and maybe some you know kind of like Clink is in the in the raids. So <clears throat> it's like these Ultra weeks are looking really good, and that's what I wanted to cover mainly in this video, <clears throat> but. We are going to be moving on to my pictures now for this week. Most of them, though, are for research tasks, or not necessarily research tasks, but or field research. Um, they tell you to take pictures either for the Jirachi thing or for um, I couldn't believe it. The first Carnival Carvana that I picked that I. Uh, um, clicked on was was shiny i saw it on radar i was like oh man i was down at riverscape right when the water festival started i knew that was going to be the best place to be and uh, i got the carving out right away um but what i was talking about before was these um pictures that i've been taking in here i have been mainly for field research for jirachi and for the water festival but as you can see it was in the ball but the the uh <clears throat> golden raspberry that i had on it was still stuck on him and and the name was still on there and then it was showing my balls like as if i could throw balls again and then the game like froze i was having problems all day uh, i think it was um i don't think i would have had the problems if i was at delco park but like i i just i don't know if my phone or my service just does not like it has gps problems has loading problems uh downtown so 
Um, I almost lost this car I I had to close the app, go back in. I clicked on the car Carvanal. It said that it wasn't there anymore, even though it was on the map. And so it disappeared. And then I checked my inventory. And luckily, I had Carvanal in there. So um, we put down some magnetic lures. That'll also help for your um, Jirachi research if you need steel types. They gave you all three of those um, newer lures, the mossy, glacial, and magnetic lures. You can pair up with a buddy and, and get to two nearby stops, and then that way you get double the pleasure, double the fun. But there was two Larons that had appeared on that, and here's my, um, I had to take these pictures. I was trying to catch it doing a bite on me, but, <laughs> and then here's a uh, Polyworld. That's kind of rare to find in the wild. And then I had to take more pictures because of more research. That was blurry. Um, all of these were shiny possible. I love it when I look at the uh, radar when I wake up and then boom. Although this was 935 at night. But I just like looking at that and see all of them being shiny possible. Barboach I'm less concerned with. I'm more concerned about getting another Carvanol before this the water festival ends tomorrow. Because um, Barboach are pretty common and I'm sure that I'll get shiny ones of those later on here's a 666 ghastly oh, aren't i amazing um here's three barboches but no shinies now the barboches you got to watch out for they'll hide behind other pokemon and they're really slim and sometimes you don't see them or they'll be right at your feet and you don't even realize they're there these had weather uh swirls around them because they were weather boosted because of the sunny weather because they're ground type and water type and um so i saw them but sometimes i've seen them and they're like they're like right at my feet and I can't even see them because um, they're in the way. Uh, here is the Water Festival task, which I'm pretty sure I showed these last week. But Water Festival is about to end. We did have... Ooh, here's a thin egg. That's weird. Um, we did have... That's uncommon to find in the wild. Here's some more research here. This was the win against another trainer seven times. Yes, it was. Uh, page five. Um... And then I got a perfect Goldeen. Uh, a co-worker of mine told me, oh, this Goldeen that I caught was just perfect. And I was like, what? And so I caught it too, and it was perfect. That was awesome. Um, and then here's uh, when the, I purified some Pokemon, and I guess their, their um, health levels did not, and they're still not healed up. They must have adjusted <clears throat> how much... Um, how much of their uh, CP would be when they uh, when you um, purify them, and they just you know sometimes they do that like when they do little adjustments they'll probably do another adjustment before Gen Five comes in. Some will go down, some will go up to balance things out. Um, probably mainly Gen Five ones will be doing that, not not necessarily the current gens that we got going on now. But you know they have done that in the past. And then you find, like, a bunch of your Pokemon need to be healed. Usually you can just restart the app or wait, like, until they're done doing the readjustments and then everything goes back to normal and you don't have to heal anything. These, though, they haven't been fixed. And I'm still not healing them yet until I figure that out later. Um, or until I figure out if they're going to just adjust it back later. But it's been a couple days now, so... Uh, I was showing somebody the whole Clan Pearl family because they they missed that day and they didn't know anything about it and they thought it was a, a new amazing Pokemon. <laughs> um, Nassau, New Providence, the Bahamas. I finally got a package from the Bahamas and yes, it did have an egg. And yes, I have a Bahamas Pokemon. <clears throat> um, I thought this was pretty cool symmetry. Finally got a shiny Poliwag. Here's what I was talking about with the new update. <clears throat> you have to be careful when they do these new updates and they do something with Adventure Sync because what happens is is they turn off they they sometimes they turn off Adventure Sync and then they ask you to turn it back on. Well, there's two of two of them now, maybe three of them now that you have to click on. Uh, one for you know buddy and egg hatching and you know tracking your distance for for all that. But there's this new one and it says Adventure Sync can find nearby. New, there's the keyword, new Pokemon, even while Pokemon Go is closed. So is it going to work like 
Pokemon Go Plus where it tries to catch them on its own? No, I don't think so. I think what it's going to do is is that it's going to give you a notification up at the top. They're already sending out notifications now. Scanning nearby Pokemon is what it says. But I think um, when Gen 5 rolls out or when you see a, a, a Pokemon or when the game sees a Pokemon on radar that you don't have, then it'll like beep at you to let you know. So that's what that is. And then this is for fitness. I had to turn it back on even though it was not. I didn't turn it off. The game turns it off whenever it updates um, Adventure Sync stuff. So just keep that in mind. You might be going, man, I should be hatching more eggs by now. You go into your settings. Make sure that it's turned back on. <clears throat> and then Unova's in there. I already showed that. This went blank for some reason. This was weird. I think I was trying to take a picture and it just wouldn't let me because there was something too close by. Uh, I had to take some pictures on the bus for a field research that I spun while I was, you know. And then this didn't have a Pokemon in it. And then, boom, there's um, my third Schmearl, finally. And there's Poliwag. He's cute. Shiny Poliwag is awesome. Um, what am I showing here? Oh, yeah, there's, like, green leaves coming up from this. But then when I went to go click on it, it um, was not a mossy lure, so that was kind of weird for me. Plus, it was not attracting mossy or, you know, uh, grass types. It was attracting water types, you know, so whatever. This is rare to find in the wild. Uh, there was a hot spot near my house for hippopotamus, but now, you know, I figured with the water event they'd be here more. But here's Suicune out on the road. And I found a Lapras in the wild today. Not shiny. Uh, there's my seal. My shiny pup. And then here's my corrupted shadow <laughs> magic card. That's rare to find in the wild. There's all my pictures. I bored you with pictures. And I told you that I found, or I got one from the Bahamas. So let me um, get in here real quick. <clears throat> And, uh, no other perfects, I don't think. See, here's the Bahamas. Not trading this one, not until I get another one from the Bahamas. But that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. I already showed you shinies. Here's my shadow. I'm gonna put them in order so that you can see them all. I got rid of a lot, or I purified a lot to try to fix my, um, or to boost up my rating for that because I think you got to purify like 50 or 100 Pokemon to go up another level. And here's all my shadow ones. I have, I keep one of each and then I purify the rest and then get rid of them. Um, and then here's all my purified ones. Less of those, of course, because I don't think they look as cool. There's only one that has really given me good results and it was this one when I purified it. Each stat went up two clicks, and it was one stat, or one click away from being absolutely perfect. So, I mean, that was kind of cool. Um, and then what else to talk about? No other really lucky ones have come, and I was talking about perfects before. Let's see. <clears throat> Four star. I think it was just... Now you can see, oh yeah, this is another thing in the update too. You can see the number of how many you've got. I've got 39 perfects. And it was the Goldeen was the last one, which is pretty powered up too. So I was pretty lucky to get that one. Um, yeah, no new Dex entries. Um, I'm still looking for a Gibble. Um, I have a, a 10k egg laying in wait again to hatch. But... I've already talked way too much. This is even longer than last week's video, but did cover a lot of stuff with these uh, weeks of um, field research coming, or not field research, but ultra bonus unlocks. So, and I did evolve some Pokemon to get to this point. So this uh, will either be a Pidgey, yeah, and it's not shiny, or a um, Eevee for that particular one, and. Then Let's see if I finally get a shiny one in my week-long research. Nope, just the regular Latias. These are about to go away pretty soon, just like um, 
what's it called? Deoxys is about to go away from EX raids, so... Raids will be going crazy for the next couple of weeks. When uh, the Quasi goes out, then the Beasts will come in, then Deoxys will come in, and then Mewtwo, Shiny, finally, um, will come in, and then who knows what will happen after that. September will be closing uh, about that time, so I think that they'll probably bring in Arceus for the EX, and they'll probably bring in um, Darkrai for October for Halloween. So, <clears throat> cannot wait for Unova. And my seven day streak. It's pretty good. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry for the length of the video, but I did cover a lot of information and show off a lot of stuff. And I'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for watching.